a lot of you wanted to know what fits in my bag, my version. So that's what we're gonna do today. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about being savvy and stylish around luxury decisions. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Typically, these are the things that I absolutely need. My phone, my card holder, my keys, my car keys, as well as lip products. And we'll see if we can fit more. Okay, so I've stuffed the bag to the brim. I don't think I would be able to stuff it even more. I don't know if I would pack it this way every single time because it probably is quite a hassle to get everything in and out. But as you can see, nothing bulging. All the sides are completely fine. Of course, the top as well, it closes shut. So it does fit everything, but I cannot imagine having to take things in and out of this very, very often. So it is definitely an occasional bag. Let's open her up. So right on top, I have sunglasses with a soft case. These are my Oliver Peoples. I love these and I rave about these sunglasses all the time. Hopefully you can see at a glance what it looks like on the inside. So let's start from the closest to me. Right here, I have a pouch with all my little things. I didn't want them to be moving around inside the bag. So two lip products, bag hanger. I'm not sure if I'll need it for this bag. And of course, my car keys. Now, I like to use these kinds of pouches because they weigh nothing and they don't take up any space. So the phone is going to be a little tricky to get in and out of. And that is because it fits exactly the length of the bag. And because the bag itself has a bit of a, you know, it's, it's kind of skinny, right? It has a bit of a restrictive opening and you also want to be careful for not scratching the leather. It is a little fussy, not gonna lie. So it does fit in it. And I do have the iPhone XX Max. So it is the largest iPhone size. I do have a case on it. It's a very, very thin case to protect from scratching, it doesn't protect from falls, so do keep that in mind as well. It does slide in pretty easily though. So as you can see, even like right now with just the bare essentials, it is not too hard to get in and out of it because I do have a little bit of leeway. But the moment you start putting all these other things and then you know every time you take things in and out, you have to rearrange it. That is one thing to keep in mind with this bag. My six key holder. And then on this side, we have two SLGs. I have my coin purse. I've had this since like high school or something. I can't remember where I bought it. We have my card holder. So my card holder acts as my wallet basically. And that's pretty much the inside of it. I don't really use the zip pocket, although you can, it's like a ring or something like that. Um, it is easy to reach in as long as your bag is quite empty. It is still a pretty structured bag. So it's not going to be the easiest getting in and out because of the type of opening and then these rings getting in the way as well because they do get in the way from both sides. Let me show you again exactly how I would pack it. Card holder, definitely need that. Um, let's not take the coin purse. If my husband is with me, then I don't need them. But let's just say that I am traveling alone or that I do need to bring the keys, lip product and keys. Uh, we probably don't need this, but I'm sure it'll fit. So let's just do that here. The phone can really slide in and out of this really easily because there's still space here. And it does close pretty easily. So if you're pretty much happy, uh, content with this much stuff, then it's actually not too bad. It's probably not going to be too much of a hassle to get in and out of it. Also with sunglasses, the way you orient your lens um, is kind of important. You have to just figure out the best way to be able to kind of slip it in without bulking out. Uh, so this is probably the best way. It is definitely not as easy as some mini bags, but I can work with this. And even by just taking out two items, it really, really helps because now everything is more fluid and it can move around and you can easily grab your keys. If you stand it up, uh, you can easily find your little thingies because they're in a little pouch 
and of course your card holder. I also want to mention that I probably would pack some sort of sanitizer, so maybe just like a wet wipe inside another Ziploc bag, something that really does not take up any space. Where I open this flap a lot and I'm pushing it against this these two rings here i'm already seeing two marks here it's not super serious or anything i'm sure it's a normal wear and tear over time but i am already noticing that because lambskin is so soft and it indents easily so that is something to notice and that is something that you probably know if you own this bag if you don't know why i chose the mini and how i went about getting this one you can re-watch or watch my unboxing video of this i explained everything, my thought process, I even included footages of how it's made, lots of great details on that video so I do encourage you to watch it. I was also told by my essay that because it is a lambskin bag that it is better over time to stuff it when I store it even though I didn't think that it would need to be stuffed because it's such a structured looking bag to me but that's what he said so definitely want to know what your opinion is and how you've been storing yours and how you've been taking care of yours let me know all your feedback down below I'm sure everyone will find it really helpful as well thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon bye